I started ICE out of my own checkbook. I mean, I started it by writing a check for the first dollar. 13 years later, as we complete our acquisition of NYSE Euronext, we're, we're going to be a 24, 25 billion dollar company just in, in 13 years. You couldn't do that, you couldn't have access to that kind of capital unless you had great capital markets. And the U.S. capital markets are the best capital markets in the world. The day that we uh, stood on the podium uh, and, and actually uh, went to public was one of the great days of my life. Oftentimes I, I really get emotional just even talking about it. The, the ability to build a business and, and, and have people interested in investing in it and, and wanting to be a part of it and opening it up to the public uh, and standing there and memorializing that by ringing the bell is really an unbelievable experience. Both NYSE and ICE are global and we have a lot of regulated businesses and we are important capital markets in a lot of places around the world. I chose the NYSE because I wanted to be part of uh, the peer group, the, the people that had come here before me that uh, that were some of the greatest names in American business, some of the greatest entrepreneurs in, in the world. It is the epitome of American capitalism. It is the place to come around the world now if you want to raise capital. Take all the great things about uh, being stable, regulated, open capital markets with, with, a, with a global brand and awareness, but then put on it a culture of technology of business innovation and customer support that comes with being sort of a young, lightweight, high-tech company. The uh, uh, goal now in the combined company is to figure out ways that we can, we can use that floor, continue to wrap it in technology, but that still puts a human being in there because you need human judgments during times of stress, both upward and downward stress in markets, and, and that is the great thing about the, the New York Stock Exchange. It is a model that nobody else has. I will tell you on the day that we went public, there was a human being, a human market maker that was trying to deal with the imbalances. And, and it was a great imbalance. It was more people wanted to buy our stock than we had thought. And by having somebody there to work through the market, to work through the imbalances, to help settle it, and then open the stock, uh, once a human being, and through their own wisdom and judgment, uh, had, had seen that it, that it was ready to, to trade, uh, was one of the great benefits that we got at the NYSE. I bought the first share of our stock uh, as an individual, and watching what it took to get me that first share, I came to appreciate uh, what happens when you put technology and human beings together. That's something that we do not want to lose. It's one of the great uh, strengths of, of, of this company and, uh, and it's one reason that, it, that those that are thinking of going to market in public markets should think about us uh, is that ability to hook human judgment with, with world-class technology. If you want to be a global company, if you want to have access to global investors and capital, global customers, you have to come to the New York Stock Exchange.